Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In this session, I'd like to show you how to create a report channel using IMC Studio. But what is a report channel? A report channel provides you the opportunity to highlight and note unexpected results using written and verbal messages during a running measurement. That is, you have the possibility to simply mark areas of the running data, you can leave audio commentary, or you can write in descriptions or comments at these particular parts in the measurement. So let's get started. As in the previous tutorials, we have already selected the device. We have also made all channel configurations. We will start with the panel plugin, where we already can see the current configuration from the previous IMC Studio tutorial on Online FAMOS. Now we will create a report channel. In the data browser window, Click on the button labeled Create Variable. In the pop-up window, in the box labeled Type, select Report Channel. We will name this report channel Warning to stand for a specific circumstance that is un unexpected during the measurement. Then click OK. In the Data Browser window, under User Defined, you can find the report channel. Using drag and drop, move the report channel to the panel window and select Automotive, then Text Input for Report Channel. By double clicking on the cross, a pop-up window will appear that allows us to customize the configuration of the report channel. For this demonstration, under Behavior, click on the Zones area. Then click the button with the three dots to open the corresponding Zones window. Here, under Set Value, the label you decide will be displayed on the graph for the corresponding warning. This label is simply an abbreviation for the corresponding text that can be entered in the next column. For this example, the demonstration will show that although the temperature difference is within the acceptable range, the overall temperature exceeds a normal value. Therefore, we will call the first set value hot. And for its corresponding text, we will enter temps exceed normal value. For the next set value, we will enter cold. And for the corresponding text, we will enter temps below normal value. For the color selections, we will choose red for hot and blue for cold, then click OK. In order to use the report channel feature, the x-axis of the graph needs to be set from linear to date time absolute. To do this, double click on the x-axis and change the corresponding scale. After enlarging the size of the text input for the report channel and using drag and drop, we can now select the report channel, which we have named Warning, from the data browser and place it in the graph. This allows illustration of the report channels on the graph. Next, we will exit the design mode by clicking on the button in the ribbon control. We are now ready to begin the measurement by clicking on the start button. As you can see, all current values are within the normal operating range. However, if both temperatures begin to rise simultaneously, the temperature difference shown in the bar meter will remain within the normal range, but the overall temperature is too high and should be noted. To do this, after ensuring that the correct message is in the event text box, simply double click on the text and a note will instantly appear on the graph. If, however, both temperatures begin to fall simultaneously below the normal range, as is shown on the graph, after you check the correct message is in the event text box, simply double click again and a note will appear on the running graph. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.